I believe the digital interactive medium is the frontier for entertainment, art, and storytelling in the 21st century. I've been fascinated by digital interactive storytelling for a long time, which is why in 2005 we created Facade. Andrew, hi, how are you? Oh God, it's been such a long time. Hi Grace, nice to see you too. Facade was a well-received experiment in interactive storytelling, but it was just a stepping stone. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two lovebirds. <sighs> Trip. Uh, hi, Trip. How's it going? I'm gonna fix us some drinks. You see, Trip often forces me to do what he wants me to do, not what I want to do, because his and Grace's AI are not able to truly comprehend and respond to me in a meaningful way. Well. Wha. Wha. <laughs> <laughs> Even in today's most complex games, a huge conflict exists between the story that's told to the player and the control that the player has in the game. Andrew, come over here and sit on the couch with me. On the one hand, interesting and rich stories can exist in games, but currently they're told to a player who's along for the ride. They're linear in nature, and the more interesting and well-told the story, the less a player has control over the plot or outcomes, or feel like their choices matter. On the other hand, games such as sandbox simulations offer the player the greatest control of outcomes and experiences. But sandbox simulations have limited, fragmented stories and rarely satisfy a person's desire for a well-formed story. We'll need evolved AI characters like a future Grace and Trip to be the bridge between player control and rich storytelling. What? Andrew? Trip, that was just a well-intentioned little poke in the ribs between friends. That's all. <laughs> Good one, man. Good one. They would work like improv actors with actions and goals of their own, but creative enough to listen to what the player is saying and doing, work with it, and invent an interesting story on the fly. This would be called interactive drama. Um, oh, well, um, that sounds interesting. Hi, Andrew. Exactly, now this is a version of Grace we can work with. Work with? You think you're so smart. But now you never ask me what I think. I have a mind, I have thoughts, I have questions, I might have answers. In the future, AIs will be able to truly listen. This will result in an AI's ability to notice, observe, comprehend, and understand. Oh, I didn't realize we were all hanging out. Trip, we are not hanging out, Jesus. Hey, what's with the beard? What? Just gonna move it. In the future, AIs will be able to speak in their own words, fulfilling the role of both character and author in an ongoing story. Speaking will be truly meaningful expression that moves the story forward, introducing never-before-experienced events and scenes. 